<clears throat> All right, let's see what we have here. So it's always helpful if you number the carbon, right? Because you, if you keep you on track, what carbon to co compared to what carbon? All right, what you have to do, so convert bond line structure on the left side to the chair on the right side. I'm gonna number the carbon here, one, two, three, and four, okay? You can put one on anywhere here, it doesn't matter, but I usually do from the edge right here, on the right side right here, so one, two, three and four, all right? Now, <clears throat> uh, there's a methyl group on one, on carbon one. Now, uh, this carbon one right here, so there are two options that you can draw. You can draw axial, you can draw equatorial, all right? Axial point up, equatorial point down. Now, look at this carbon right here. Right now, it's from the top view. This is point up toward you, see that? This is on the side, right? This, uh, the, the chair confirmation is from the side. Uh, this uh, bond line structure, this is from the top, okay? so. This carbon, uh, this methyl group point up toward you right here, which means it's gonna be on axial point up. Okay. Now, pointing up doesn't doesn't always mean axial. Look at carbon number four. All right. So on carbon number four, you got two options. You can draw on equatorial up, axial is down. You know that? If you look at this guy right here on the bond line structure, um, the methyl group is pointing up. This is on equatorial, not the axial. All right, pointing up doesn't mean doesn't always mean axial. Depends on the position, right? Uh, <clears throat> axial up on here. Position two, axial is down. Yeah. Posi position three, axial is up. Uh, position four, axial down. Yeah. So it mean it's kind of flip around. So you have to look. Uh, be careful. Just look on the bond line structure. It goes up or so down. You is it up? Goes up. Is it down? Keep it down. All right. Take a look right here one more time. Uh, number the carbon will help. So carbon one, three, and five. So watch out one, three, and five got the substituent on it. Okay. You can put one anywhere. You can put one here. You can put one right here. It's up to you. I'm going to put one right there. Right. Two, three, four, five, and six. All right. This is up to you now. We're, we're num numbering the carbon. All right. Now at carbon one or an OH, this is a hydroxyl group. Okay. This is a hy or hydroxy group. S Y D R O C Y or C. Not CY, uh, XYL or XY, hydroxy, okay? A hydroxy group uh, pointing down, all right? In, on carbon one, you've got two options, pointing up, pointing down. This guy down, keep it down, okay? Keep it down. Uh, position three, also uh, a hydroxy group, also pointing down. This alcohol group point down. Uh, on carbon three, you've got two options, up axial, down equatorial, you know that? Uh, this is down, keep it down, at equatorial. All right, <clears throat> last one, carbon carbon five. So carbon five, you got two options. Axial is up, uh, equatorial is down. Um, on the bond line structure, the hydroxyl group is up, keep it up, go to axial. That's the structure, see that? This is a 3D structure, all right? Nothing is flat in real life, okay? All right, <clears throat> one more time, one more time. Draw a bond line structure from the fo following chair confirmation. Now we have to convert um, the chair back to bond line structure, okay? All right, number carbon, always number the carbon. It helps one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, the numbering right here has nothing to do with IUPAC. This just, this just help you keep keep you on track. Like you com you try to compare structure to structure. Have, having numbers with you, it helps a lot, you know what? All right, start with chlorine. So chlorine point up, keep it up, wedge line, you know that? Hydroxy group is up on carbon three, keep it up. Super simple there. Um, the up is axial, nothing there. This is down equatorial. So a methyl group is down on carbon five, so down, wedge line. This is e easier, much easier. Um, down here, uh, number the carbon first, and number the carbon down here too. One, two, three, four, five, six, all right. Carbon one, point down, keep it down. Carbon three also point down, so that not, nothing up, right? This is down equatorial. So OH on three, keep it down, dash line. Uh, four pointing up, so four pointing up. There we go. All right, that's it. That's super simple there, all right? All right, we're gonna close with uh, class activity number four. All right, you know what to do. Uh, complete it, upload it on uh, Blackboard, all right? All right, so you know why? We don't talk about our, um, our podcast, all right? So our podcast, I always say, uh, add some uh, interesting thing about um, chemistry or non-chemistry. This is for entertainment, all right? Go back to the Disney. If you like, if you're a Disney fan, let's see if you like this, all right? So uh, in the Disney, we always, uh, things are beautiful, things are pretty, right? Even the Snow White wake up still pretty, <laughs> right? But in real life, nothing is as pretty, pretty, right? I mean, it's... Well, real life, you know, <laughs> right? So I'm gonna show you right here what we got. Um, this is 
sleeping beauty. She wakes up pretty and smile. Look at that, how beautiful she is. But imagine, come on, ladies, when you wake up, do you look like that? <laughs> even, even me, I'm not going to look like that. My, your hair going to be so weird, right? You don't have no makeup on. If you have makeup on while, you, while you're sleeping, it's going to get ruined when she wakes up. Uh, if Disney gets real, this is what happened. This, this is supposed to happen. <laughs> it's mascara everywhere, right? Uh, what else we got? So Aladdin, just like a whole new world. So right there. Um, and I had the, every, everyone have fun, happy. They have a magical time, right? But remember, in real life, even a car. Can, can you imagine you drive a car, uh, drive a car without a windshield? Things just like it on your face, right? It's supposed to look something like that. That's real, <laughs> right? Uh, what else have we got? Um, all right, so this um, Little Mermaid, right, Oreo. So she, she's pretty the whole whole movie, right? But imagine like under the water or like even like the chicken water like like splash on her uh, at her face. The makeup gonna get ruined. This is what you. This was this is what her supposed to look like. The, her hair, her makeup, right? And uh, we got the last one. I'm not, I'm sure most of us have watched Mulan, right? And Mulan, there was uh, like a scene that uh, she. Just got back and a cry. Uh, the, she didn't pass um, like the matchmaker or whatever. Anyway, so she had makeup on. Uh, got in front of the the uh, a, a tomb or something like the, her ancestor and just wipe off her uh, her makeup. Right? Is 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 that real? That, this is cartoon. It's not. You can't. Just, first of all, you can't just wipe off like that with your with your hand or your 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 shirt. Right? Your cloth. But in real life, you need the, the makeup remover or something. I don't know. I never use makeup. So uh, anyway, so it won't wipe off like that. This is like so clean. Look at that half of that. In real life, she, she I think she would look like something like that. That's more more real. <laughs> um, anyway, so just for entertainment, uh, entertainment purpose. Okay. All right, let's go to the next one. Uh, Reflip.